founding of America, Christmas was not really uh, allowed in, in, in America, in the colonies. Well, one one yeah, second, so. before you go there, I want people to remember this. Uh, when you take a look at the word belief or believe or believer, remember the one thing that is in, 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 in absolutely a part of that word. And if you just separate the B-E away and you separate the, uh, the end, you find the word lie. I just want you to know that if you take a look at it very carefully, the word lie is contained in the word belief and believe. Okay. No, you're right. <laughs> so you know, yep. it, it's just it's it's right there in front of you, and well, you know people that's, believe that's people believe Jordan that Christmas is one of these sacred ancient things that has been around forever. But it's interesting because you were just saying that in America initially, the uh, the founding fathers, you know, those people that we venerate all the time and try to quote and misquote and misunderstand and argue about their intentions. It's kind of funny because. They did not want Christmas to be here almost universally, although it was available to them to make it into a holiday, they call it. And uh, I, I, I find that really interesting. You know, the, the founding fathers that they tell us were of the utmost Christian, up you know, upstanding Christians and all that, which we could do a whole show on that. <laughs> OK, yeah. but right. how about we talk about the founding of America and how Christmas was not part of the package deal to begin with? No. No, Christmas was not part of America in the very beginning. The very first days of the of the colonies of America, Christmas was not celebrated. Why? Because the founding fathers realized where it came from and what it was all about. And so, uh, you know, so you need to understand that the reason why, after the colonies became states, and we become and we begin to become very successful and very, beginning to grow into a country. Then all of a sudden, one day, somebody came up with the idea, and it's very interesting who did it. Somebody came up with the idea of let's re-establish a holiday, uh, and, and, and we'll make a lot of money. We're talking about a business. We'll make a lot of money by re-establishing something called Christmas. And so they started reinventing this holiday called Christmas. And now we find out, do you know where Christmas began? Who started Christmas back up, uh, even though it wasn't allowed in the very beginnings of this country? But today it's become a very big celebration. It was Coca-Cola. The Coca-Cola company gave us today what we call Christmas. They came up with the idea of Christmas and they sold it to the American people. It's called Coca-Cola Company. Because all of a sudden, one day, Coca-Cola started promoting the holidays, and they called it Christmas. And they showed how the Coca-Cola, everybody will be drinking Coca-Cola on the holidays. So it was a corporate idea to reestablish the old uh, Saturnalia and call it Christmas, Christ Mass. The Mass, you go to church, you go to Mass dedicated to Christ, so it was called a Christ Mass, or Christmas. And Christmas is based on Saturnalia, and the Coca-Cola company knew that because the Saturnalia was always a big party. A big party in Rome was called Saturnalia. Everybody got there and had drunk. And had, everybody got drunk and eating and drinking and having a, a great time celebrating the Saturnalia celebrating the coming of winter and the birth of the sun going back to the spring. It was a big celebration. And so Coca-Cola promoted the idea and, and called it Christmas. And so today we still have a big celebration that's, that's really gone into the business world. It's really become commercial. We call it Christmas. But we have Coca-Cola Company to thank for bringing us back into the, the celebration of Christmas. It was an old Saturnalia, a Roman Empire celebration of the 12 days of, uh, of winter. The 12 days, uh, you know, Christmas was always 12 days. That's where your song comes yeah. from, first of all. <laughs> you know, on, right. the, well, on the first day of Christmas. Okay, everybody always asks, right. why is there 12 days of Christmas? This is why. Uh, secondly, there's a lot of things about Saturnalia 
that uh, that that people don't necessarily know. The Romans at one point didn't even want it, <laughs> even though it was their holiday. Yeah. Uh, why is that, Jordan? It's because the part of the Saturnalian holiday, Saturn is what was, is, you know, you can mix up the letters in Saturn, it becomes Satan, Saturn. And so, um, what was I going to tell you about, uh, about why we have holidays? Where does that uh-huh. come from, that we have holidays all over the world? Peoples of all countries in the world have holidays. Usually there's five of them. Usually there are five major holidays in all countries of the world. And the reason why is because the way you uh, look at your watch, uh, as I said, if it's a round watch, you'll see 12, 12 numbers in a round circle. And, and each one of those circles represents, each one of those numbers represents a month. So the 12 months of the year in a circle. And so the 12 months of the year, as I told you at the beginning, is draw a round circle and put 360 dots. And the 360 dots are 360 degrees of the sun moving across the sky each day. Each day is a degree, and it moves one degree each day southward. And so there are 360 degrees representing 360 days, and that's the way we keep track of business and government keeps track of business on a 360 degree circle but in fact there are 365 days in the year Mm -hmm. so what are you going to do with those other five days in the year because the government keeps track of taxes and money and, and politics and everything else on 360 days in the circle not 365. Well, yeah, but you got 365 days. What are you going to do with, uh, with the other five days? Well, we'll just forget those. Just act like they don't exist. And so the best thing you'll do is just give people a holiday. Let them celebrate a holiday. Let them take a day off and give them five days off a year. And they're called holidays. And so we have five holidays. And you know, each country has different holidays. And in America, we have Christian holidays, which is the birth of God's son, Christmas. And then the uh, Easter is the re-entering uh, into the northern hemisphere, bringing the sun back. We call it Easter. And it's actually the celebration of the sun coming back to the northern hemisphere. We call it spring. And so we have five holidays. Holidays are trying to explain away the five days we don't use every year because we only use 360 days on a 360-degree circle. Mm -hmm. And so that's where we get the idea of holidays. And, of course, then if you have the help of big corporations like Coca-Cola, they'll give you a new holiday. It's called Christmas. And everybody buys buys tons and tons of Coca-Cola on holidays like Christmas. Never realizing, no, Christmas is a old Saturnalian holiday in the ancient Rome where people got drunk and raped each other and fight and kings were, were uh, you know, landowners, the big wealthy landowners would trade places with their slaves. The slaves became the landowners and the landowners became the slaves. And the slaves could do to the to the landowners anything they wanted to do because they were in the position of landowner, and and that that's the way the holiday worked. So whatever the landowners, they were the wealthy landowners, they were slaves to their slaves. They had to take the position of a slave, and the slave could do to the landowner whatever he wanted because that's the law. That was the religion of the Roman Empire called the Saturnalia. Mm. People don't know that. that. That's that's basically what we have today, a bunch of drunken parties and, and people who think that they, you know, people who think that they're important uh, are not important and the people who are nothing more than just the slaves act like they are in charge of everything. And so we call it Christmas or Saturnalia based on the planet Saturn. 